I mean, the proposition is that we're doomed. I, mean, I don't think we're doomed, you know? I don't okay. think that we're anything special, but it's just, you know, we have a lot of skills. And one that we haven't talked about before is that we are natives to this technology, which is, to use a lame Silicon Valley word, disrupting the world. And we understand those technologies much more deeply than the older generations, yeah, and we are able to har <laughs> harness those technologies. And is that, I think is that's that, not think that's even not been addressed. Binta, you think that's not I true? I think that that's so unfair. I mean, I, the, 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 Generation X was known as the computer generation. It, was also, it is also known as a digital generation. When I was 12 years old, I was playing on things called bulletin boards, which was an early version of the internet. I wrote my senior thesis in 1995 on the internet and all of the different ways it's going to change about society. Internet use. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. The, the, the companies that you're talking about that make you digital natives, right, were all founded by, for the most part, with the exception of Facebook were by and large founded by people in Generation X. It's simply inaccurate every time somebody says that the millennial generation is the only okay. generation I'm, that gets I'm digital. interested in David's outburst when you said we're not oh. talking about internet use. What are you talking about? I mean, about? The, the question, I mean, I, I alluded to this earlier, this question of, of, of nativism versus immigrantism, right? So this idea that if you, if you understand a technology in, in, innately in your upbringing, that it actually positions you over the long term to, to, to use it more effectively, not just to create right. companies, it's just a piece of it. And, you know, yes, Facebook, Google, uh, you know, Twitter are big companies, and some of the founders of Twitter, there's a long, long debate about who actually founded Twitter, were right. people who were, who were millennials. Right. And you also look at the people who are the kinds of companies that are coming out today, whether it's, whether it's a company. So, so why does that make it different? Why does well, that I would say there's been a democratization of technology. That's the That's true. majority of millennials grew up with it, whereas Gen X, it was a very privileged thing for them to grow up and have, you, you, you know, internet in the home. The, the, like, the numbers are, have just skyrocketed. So I think it's different in that way. in this generation have regular access to the internet. Okay, Penta. Okay, so when you create something, I would submit to you that you have a pretty good understanding as to how to use it. And, and at the same time that your generation was becoming used to using these technologies, older generations have also become used to using these technologies. Now, you know, the boomers, maybe they were a little bit slower, and, and the greatest generation, I mean, I don't know what they do, but I mean, they're silent, they're, they're silent, right? But, but, but I just think that it's a little bit misleading, right? There's, there's a difference between, you know, we, we, we oftentimes talk about millennials as being digital savvy. You know, having the ability to make a Facebook post or to take a selfie or to Snapchat or to engage on WhatsApp is not digital savvy. Having the ability to create the button is digital savvy. But, but, but right, and more of them know how to code than people in Generation X. I'm not sure that that's actually accurate.